And now we are about to discuss the issue of Yaya Beno versus court order. This has been on the news for about two, three weeks now and everyone is wondering what is going on. Well, let us first of all look at the issue on ground. Although Yaya Beno has agreed that he is going to appear in court, because he said the reason he has, according to what his lawyer said, he said the reason he has not appeared in court is because of fear of threat to his life and then he needs some assurances that if he comes to court he would not be arrested by EFCC and then the judge went on to say that it is assumed that anyone who is coming to court is innocent once you proven guilty. But what, what makes one wonder is this former governor as legal team was it that they did not advise him on this in the first place or it's just um, shenanigans not to even go to court at all? No, no, I will not. You see, <coughs> lawyers are professionals with uh, training and retraining. Now, I will not, uh, I will not uh, subscribe to the fact that maybe uh, it was not uh, advised or guided by the lawyers. I will not say that. You see, one thing about this is our profession is this. If a brief is brought to a lawyer, he listens to the client. He takes some judgments and asks some questions for clarification purposes. And subsequently, he will advise when the needful has been done about uh, the advice given or the comments given or the brief. <coughs> so <coughs> in doing that, he will advise the class, okay, we can go this way, we can go this way. He has rendered his professional service one way or the other. It is now left for the client to either comply or not to comply. The same thing happens to a medical doctor. When you say you have a viva, you could not sleep, and then you need to see them, you now see the doctor. Maybe they do what they call, uh, is it uh, temperature or blah, 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 BP, they check it. After the doctor says, ah, Sorry, I'm bro. How old are you? Ah, he's uh, he's uh, 52 years old. Ah, okay. He said, now, having studied your system, you do take some certain things that has a kind of nicotine. You say, what is nicotine? Say, ah, maybe like cola, like alcohol, like uh, marijuana. I say, I say, yes, he takes marijuana. Ah, ah. You know, the doctor says, well, from what I've observed from your system, you need to stop taking such substance. You know, the patient will not talk. Because as at that time, he wants treatment. Now, after the doctor treats him and he gets him and discovers that his body is not okay, three days after, he put fire. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> he says, okay, it is the marijuana that makes him to be agile every day. The doctor has given his hand. The same thing for a lawyer. If a lawyer advises, I say, come, this case is a case we can handle, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. So we'll do this, we'll, do this. we'll, do this. we'll build our legal team. I will call my friends who are also experts in the field. We will do it together. And the client leaves the office. I guess I said, don't mind that lawyer. And I started acting. So you can't blame the lawyer for that. So that is exactly what I think must have happened. I am sure no lawyer will advise his client to run away from court. No lawyer will do that. I'm sorry to say that. No lawyer will do that. Because the court, lawyers are part of the court. We go there. We appear there and we make submissions there. So I will a reasonable lawyer will say, Don't come. No, I'm not sure. That cannot be true. Please let's read that one out. Let's read it out. Okay, all right. but do you feel like this behavior that or, that, or this response that yes. was gotten from the from the former government of Kyrgyz State, yes. do you think it might be inched on the fact that politicians or people who have held office one time or another in Nigeria often have this notion that they might be untouchable and then they feel like maybe when they are out of office that courtesy is still supposed to extend to them and then also the fact that if one is rich enough in Nigeria one could probably buy their way out of just about anything. Uh, no, it's not so. He cannot say it's untouchable. In this country, I wouldn't want to mention anybody's name because some of these cases are in court and once the case is in court, it's subject this. We cannot be commenting on it. Now, <laughs> I can mention more than 50 governors, 15 governors. Some are still pending in court. Some have been determined. 
that were uh, probably invited or arrested and prosecution going on or prosecuted. So you should do think that his uh, son is uh, it's, it's not a special human being. But while still in that office, he has some uh, he has some privileges which he enjoyed. And having left the office, I think that's a terminus. So it's not uh, it's not covered by that uh, privilege any longer. But uh, to have said that uh, it's a special being, no, 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 no. Please rule that one out. He has he, he belongs to the group of what I call ex governors. He has affinity with some of them. He can easily call some of them and seek for advice and their opinions, which I know he must have done. So to me, what he, is, he has done, he has done it on his own. Yes, he has done it on his own. And if there's anybody who advised him to, to behave the way he's behaving, that person must be somebody who is not of legal mind. Yes. And uh, I think no lawyer, no lawyer will do that. No lawyer will do that. A lawyer is ready to do his work. And then he will do what? He will do the need for it. That is our language. What should you do if you do the need to do and proceed and start writing, writing, writing and thinking and searching for authorities to support his case so that he can get the victory? That is our job. No lawyer will say no. Lawyer, no lawyer will say that. Please. Okay, but you see, this is conflicting because there was this press conference that yes. was held that we had a lawyer who is also saying that. Uh, he should still enjoy some immunity and then it was wrong for the EFCC to go to raid this place and all that. But from my thinking, from my understanding, yes. I thought that the whole case of immunity ends once the person uh, you, this. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, I think uh, maybe the lawyer was quoted out of context. That's the word I use. Because personally, I didn't see the lawyer addressing the person. I didn't. And I was not there. So I cannot say the lawyer says so. I can't. So here I say, I will not believe that. You put it in newspaper, and I will, not, I will not believe that. But if I see him say so, I can say, ah, the man said so. But the man told me they said, oh, no, I don't believe the man said so. No. I believe I saw him. And that is our job. So, but to me, because you see some of these newspapers, I'm sorry to say it, they just want to say their people. <laughs> then some of these online media reporters, they just want heading, headline that people will now be posting here and there. So the man must have been quoted out of context. That is the way I look at it. Yes. Okay. That's the way I look at it too. Lawyer, no, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so that much. That is where we, that is, that, you see the beauty of this job, the beauty of legal profession. This advocacy is one of the beauties of the job. So to me, a lawyer who is in advocacy part of the job will tell his land it can never be true. He will tell call. I will take you to the court. Let us face the death. Let them bring the evidence. That's what a reasonable lawyer will do. And once a lawyer does that, you know the meaning, he will be able to go with bread and tea for his family to take care of what to take. All right, we thank you so much for your time on the program. It has been thank education, you. it has been Thank you, in. viewers at home, for enjoying us. It is part and parcel of us. Uh, we have no other thing to do. We need to make people happy and to make you know what is recent and what is current so that people will not misguide you anywhere with unnecessary and true stories. Definitely. Thank you so much. And that's Dr. Yemi Omodele, a legal practitioner.